video is going to show you how to find powers and roots of complex numbers. Okay, so at the moment, um, I'm going to check my settings and see if that's what I want it to be. So I'm going to go document, settings, document settings. Okay, so we're in angle radians, that's fine, we usually use radians. Now, real or complex, if I click on this, I obviously don't want real. Now, I can choose either rectangular or polar depending on how I want my answers to look. I'm going to go with rectangular. I think that's the um, going to be our most popular choice generally. Okay, press OK. So now, let's say I have the complex number 2 minus 3i, and I want to find that in... I want to square it. So let's do brackets. 2 minus 3i. Get out of the brackets and just square it. Enter. Now, if I decide, actually, I want that in polar form too, I might just grab it. Either I can grab the answer or the expression. I might grab the answer. And then I can always convert it to polar form. Like that. So that's the polar form with angle negative 1.96559 and modulus 13. Now, which is interesting because we generally don't... Um, express our angles as negative. So if I were you, I would find the equivalent um, positive angle between 0 and 360. Well, a whole circle is 2 pi, and I want to subtract that angle. So like, for instance, 2 times pi minus 1.96559. Enter. Okay, so that's the equivalent positive angle that you can use in replace of that. Let's actually see if that works. So, for instance, um, if I put that in instead of that, so I do 13 times e to the 4.3176. And then I, let's see what we get. Now what's happened? We've gotten basically the same as the original um, complex number that we used. But why isn't exactly, why isn't this a 5? Well, probably because there's some rounding going on here. So that's the issue. Maybe if we had grabbed this and instead used that. Ah, look at this. They've used the entire, um, they've grabbed the entire angle now. So if I get out of that, just enter. Look at that. We're, we're even closer now. So all very similar. So negative 5 minus 12i, approximately. So that's how you can convert your negative angle in radians to a, the positive angle in radians. Okay, so more powers can be done. For instance, um, uh, 5 minus 4 for i or to the power of 6. So let's put brackets around that. To so the power of 6. Enter. Okay. We can also put it in um, mod arg form. So let's put brackets around the whole thing. Uh, for, for instance, times cos of, let's try um, pi on 3. I on 3 plus, get out of those brackets, plus I sine pi on 3. And, oops, that's what it is, but let me just get that again. And I'll put it all to the power. Now, what's happened here? Fours is um, outside the brackets, so I better put brackets around the whole thing. And now put it to the power of, let's say, six again. Enter. Okay. So what's happened here? Um, it's actually it becomes a very small number. The sign, the imaginary part becomes a very small number. This is like one times ten to the negative ten. Okay. Um, and so forth. So now, but what if I want to change this to mod arg form? Let's go up. Grab it, because remember my document's in rectangular form, which is why it's always giving me the rectangular or Cartesian 
uh, version of the complex number. So here's my complex number. Let's convert it. Convert to polar. Okay, so now I know that this is the angle and this is the modulus. Now you might be thinking, well, what's happened here? What's happened here is if we think if we go back to this using De Moivre's theorem, now four to the six is four thousand and ninety-six, and then six times pi on three is two pi. So what's cos of two pi? Well, that's just one. So four times one is four thousand and ninety-six. What's sine of two pi? That's zero. So that's there should be no imaginary part. However, what is this? This is such a small number; it's actually approaching zero. So it's basically insignificant, which makes it like zero. So the answer is essentially 4096, which actually makes sense. So our answer here actually concurs with De Moivre's theorem. The polar one, even though it looks wrong, it actually makes sense. This is 2.4 times 10 to the negative 14. Again, that's an extremely small number, very, very, very close to zero. But why is it zero when we just said the angle here is 2 pi? Well, 0 is equivalent to 2 pi. So again, so if this is 0, that's e to the 0, which is just 1. 1 times 4096 is equivalent to this according to De Moivre's theorem. And it's also equivalent to this, where these e to the negative, large negative numbers, we're assuming they're basically 0. Similarly, you can also square root a complex number as well. So if we give a square root and then put in a complex number, 2 plus 4, 4i, enter, and there's our equivalent complex number, and you can convert it to polar and so forth.